guys welcome back to the channel uh, just an update video for you of what's in the garage so as you can see we've got this lovely uh, new customers mark 3 rs here i've got the boss here martin he'll be able to tell you all about it guys yeah new customer uh, in magnetic gray another cracking color you know, i like the gray anyway like stealth gray I like magnetic gray it's good um but yeah so this car is stock at the moment um you still have a few little cosmetic bits on it um, but it's come in, so we're going to be doing uh, rear stage one software on this, SPS, rear motor mount, short shifter, velocity mount, uh, the big mount on it. Um, so yeah, so a few other little bits and pieces we've been doing it, but that's like job here to be done. Yeah, so. check out, I mean, as I said guys, you know, mm. check out our Instagram because we don't yeah. always have everything that we're going on in the garage on the on the channel, but yeah. check out our Instagram because there's loads yeah. more stuff going on there guys. There is, yeah. Um, and then we just thought we would just like just give you an update on what's happening with Monty's car. So there's lots of people asking, you know, and um, really enjoying what we're doing on this one. So as you can see, that um, again, it's a bit different. You get an idea of it, but so this is just the this is the test fit on the front. This look. So you've seen the pictures that uh, on the on the social media with regards to this is custom made bell with M Sport engravement on it. You know, it's all logoed up. Done for us, just yeah. That's done for us by Nick and his team at High Spec. So we got the that's a three hundred and eighty mil disc with you know sixteen row cross drill, three quarter drill, not all the way through because you don't want to you know there's a compromise so you don't weaken this too much. Um, yeah. So that's like I said, just test fit at the moment. We, uh, I'm still waiting for our final fit brackets from Nick, but he's just mega busy at the moment as we all are. In this game, anyway, in this trade, engineering, motor trade, it's just crazy, isn't it? What Nick's had to do is, and it's been a, a right, a right faff to do, get the bracket and the caliper set up, because we need to, it needs to clear this. So the calipers on this will be just complete custom for this car, to, for the wheel setup. Now, if I was to put a reverb wheel on this, it would clear, we wouldn't have to do anything, but the reason why that is, is because this particular wheel, is the same wheel as what they run on the R5 rally car. So, you know, it's 5108, all right, 63.4% divorce and neutral side. Um, and the offset on this, memory, 45 mil offset, I think, through memory. Um, but it's like the LM wheel, which is similar. Um, well, it will be the same as what's on the R5 wheel. Because it's 5108, you don't get that on the Fiesta. You do on this one, because we've changed it. Um, so yeah, we'll show you the, well, once we get the bracket and set it all up, then I can show you it with the caliper on and all that sort of stuff. But just a quick look on the inside. So you all know the car has been base wrapped in satin black and a gloss black over it. Nowhere near finished yet. That's just to get the, the base wrap on it. Flock dash, which we talked about before, we fitted the cage in it. This is the bolting cage uh, that we got from Josh at JP Cages. Um, fantastic. You know, the cross on the roof that you see there, look. Right, that's not something that he normally offers. So that was something that he done for us. Um, we requested it and he done it. So fantastic, considering he didn't have the car there. To get that right, he's got his measurements right there, look, with the, you know, still retaining the headlining. And the only thing you can't fit is obviously the sun visors, which is a bit of a shame because the sun visor, the driver's side sun visor has got Malcolm Wilson's signature on it. Well, yeah. So we're gonna have um, to find which, to be honest, to be fair, right? You don't really see it, do you? Unless you put the sun visor, you know, it's the mirror, it's the mirror flap that it's on. Yeah, so that's correct. we're going to remove that. You better have it on display. So actually that's forced us to do that. So forget the sun visors. I mean, it's going to have a sun strip on it anyway, which uh, for that side of it, but we'll put that Malcolm Wilson flap somewhere where it's going to be visible. Yeah. We'll pick a good spot um, and then you'll see it all the time then. But yeah, yeah, the door's off it. And we'll explain why the door, well, the door was off it because it's easier to get the cage in, but Something else is happening with the door being refabbed, and then you will share that with you later. But this is completely different to my case. So this is like, uh, they call it a dash dodger. And the reason is because it dodges the dash nut, yeah? Whereas like mine is completely different. So mine is up at JP Cages now. It's, being custom, it's a custom case being made on it, like I said before, with the, um, for the car, with the door card. So you'll see mine, mine's completely different when it sits in the door cards. Mine goes down through the dash and all that sort of stuff. Still bolting, but it's unique to my car. Yeah. 
All right. And in particular, as you said, the the, the Xbox well, on side because of the uh, because unless of the you've door got, cards. Unless you've got an R5 or whatever, I've not seen another. Somebody wouldn't think about doing that on a on a road stroke track car, would they? The door cards, they wouldn't. I won't. It, well. <laughs> Don't ask how much they are, do you, the people who know where M Sport money. Right, so on the rear look, same wheel, obviously. But if you look, this, these these bells look, there's no disc on it, obviously. These are from my car, from the Little Beast, as a test fit. But that was for a 315 mil disc, which is what you run on yours to me. Um, but obviously, a different centre, you know, the, the bell spacer. So we can get our measurements right. So and then get the, the, the wide track right and the way it sits and all that sort of stuff. So then if you wander around to the other side, look, but then the front of the other to me. So this is like, this, this is like just a hub. So you can see now, look, the 5108 stud configuration, which Julian done for us, which is awesome. h and coilovers, same as what you're having. Yep. All right. So as you can see, look, the ride up was there, look. We've, lo we've obviously wound that up to the ride ups now up here and for obvious reasons, it's, it's wide body and it runs an 18 inch wheel. So you can't have it there, no good. So, and plus, he wants the more rally inspired, which uh, rally cars are not even on tarmac spec, they're not slammed, do they? No, they're, they're still, not. You, they've got a couple of inch gap between the, you know, and that's what, um, you know, what we're trying to achieve here. But yeah, you can see that, so with the, the satin finish, it's still got all the protective film on it. Mr. Sicker, superb. Yeah. yeah. And then when it's really, finished, really when it's finished it'll be over to Mr. Mr. Tom Warren. Mr. Warren. To do all his super duper coatings on the satin in the mat and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, definitely. So on the rear, look, this is where it gets interesting. So this is like really like, um, there's one more test fit to do, but I'm quite pleased with this at the moment. I mean, it, there's, when I say there's still a final test fit, there is. I just, we want a bit, little bit more clearance on the barrel of the wheel. So again, the spot caliper, that's just a test one, right? That'll be custom made, the actual body of it will be custom chamfered in, in to give us a bit more clearance. We can bring the caliper in a bit closer to the disc. We've got a little bit of, um, you know, a bit of movement there, um, which just gives us a bit of a, you want to like a two mil, minimum of a two mil air gap, really. Well, we've got that, but I just want a bit more, that's all. Um, and the question that I've been asked before about, well, you got this, that's a 380 mil disc. So yes, it is going to run 380 mil discs all around, which is mind blowing. All right. Yeah, um, it's, it's pretty mental for a Fiesta. Yeah. We, we've already tested it on the, uh, on yours with the you know, 340 front, 315. Yeah. And on the Little Beast and all that sort of stuff. So this is completely different. All right. And it, the way it's going to be configured with the piston size and all that. So don't get confused with that, with, um, with what we're doing what you've got on yours. Yeah, I've, got, I've got the baby brakes on mine. You, you've now got the baby brakes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this is like RS size on the Mark II Focus RS. Can't run a 400 on the front, of course you can. You can't get that inside a 8 inch wheel, 380 you can, let me see how close that is. Yes. Yeah, because right, uh, you need to have some sort of... Just um, try and get the camera in there guys, yeah. so you can see it. It's, it's weird on camera, it doesn't really... When you see it, you think, that looks bigger than what it does on the camera. It does, because it is, you know, it doesn't give you a full, like, uh, perspective of what it, you know, an overall like view, like unless you're actually staring at it like we are now. Um, but yeah, so that's, and they're not going to be blue by the way. These are just test fit ones. They're not going to be blue. So it gives you an idea. And I think we said the front caliper will be, well, it's going to be, I'll show you. Let's not yeah. mess around here. So, as laughable as it is, that's what. Well, sort of like, I don't know, sort of like there. I don't know. Well, I've already test fitted this inside the, in, it's quite complicated. You know, this is where all the, the, the chamfer, the redesign work of the casting, because high spec manufacture all these in-house CNC. We've been up there, it's nuts, isn't it? Yeah, I was just trying to get you and yeah. the well, caliper in there, Martin, because I mean, as yeah. I said, with the RS videos, it's yeah. as big as your head, that caliper. Like, well, I've done it before, didn't I? When I've done like a, it was like, sort of like this, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, a bit like that. Like that, was it? Yeah. Uh, or... All like that, yeah. yes. That's, yeah, so that's like, hang on. Thumbs up in the comments, yeah. Thumbs down. Thumbs yeah. down. Yeah, let us know, Whichever. guys. Whichever. I don't mind. But there you go, then. See, that's all I... As you said there, look. It's 
special molly. Yeah, it says Erlo. Yeah. Yeah. So all all done purposely. This is just for this car. So this wouldn't be applied to the little beast. It wouldn't because it's it's just for this. So that just gives you an idea. It's, it's you know it doesn't weigh a lot. It's it's a huge caliper. It's the same caliber as what we've run on the Mark III Footways RS bit month on the 395 and the 400. But this is 380. So um, it's it's only for this car. It's not something that's going to be repeated. It'll be you know you know this will run it. The little beast will run the same size. I mean that's no. You know, I can tell you that now, that's obvious that it's going to run the same stuff, of course it is. But um, it's bespoke to this car. Um, but there's loads to be done on it, yeah. It's just to give you an idea of um, where we're going with this. Um, and then we'll give you little bits of information as we go. Um, I said before, Monty who owns it has been down, he come down the other week. Just to see, check on progress. And um, we've got the seats, so we've got the frames to come for the, the other subframes for the seat base. We've got the, because um, he wants them adjustable, he wants the seats to be adjustable, um, not fixed. And we'll share all that with you. We'll share with you what type of seats he's having. Uh, I mean, you can sort of, I guess it's an M Sport theme in it, so you can sort of like try and work out what type of seats he's having. Um, it's got some special harnesses as well, which we've the harnesses uh, are, uh, done some videos on, really and we'll share that with you guys. Did we do the video with the actual harnesses? What they were? For? Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. I did. Did I do it with Timmy Tastic too? Did I? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then we said who, who they were from and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, uh, I'm sure through memory. I can't remember the the surname of the cold drug, but the, the this is like I said before. This is um, Evan the exclusivity to get something like that, and Evan the relationship we have with M Sport. We're lucky that we'll be able to get stuff for like um, R fives, even though it's not an R five, because normally you wouldn't be able to get it. Um, so, yeah. So, like you were saying to me, the harnesses, brilliant. So we've got a pair of harnesses that are from the Monte Carlo Rally twenty nineteen, which is good because it's from Monte. Yeah, exactly, for Monte. Um, and yeah, so the driver then was uh, is it. Timu Suleiman, is he Timu Suleiman? I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. Correct mm -hmm. me if I'm wrong, viewers. Melandro, Mar Marco, whatever you I don't know, I can't remember what his surname is, but Marco something is the, is the um, I'm not that clued up on rally drivers. Uh, he was a co-driver. So those belts that we've got, and they're all been identified, they're all boxed up as that. We've checked in Greg from M Sport. Um, you know, it's confirmed that, and we've got something really special. So I know it's might seem a bit trivial, you know, but you, when you're clicking yourself in, that's the belts that they used in WRC. Not R5, not WRC2, full on WRC. Monte Carlo Rally 2019. Awesome. Yeah, that's a little piece of history, isn't it? Yeah, when it is, yeah. You know, the cars of this one, especially, and the little beast when it's done, but this one especially, if you're going up to M Sport headquarters, we've been invited up to there to, because um, they want to see it when it's finished. And that'd be great to know that he's got the, those harnesses are in there for, uh, um, so there's got a bit of um, a connections there in it in the car, really. Uh, a lot of it is doing ourselves, but little things like that I think is, um, is 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 quite interesting and quite exclusive to me, isn't it? It is, yeah. And I mean, it's something that Monty wants, and it's uh, yeah, it's part of the history of the yeah. car, guys. It's an M Sport car, yeah. so yeah, it, it, it's just, it all suits it. Yeah, it's just a massive project, though, isn't it? It's just a, you know, it is a huge project. This car, um, things change as as you're doing it, you know. Well, there's been a lot of changes. very we'll there's this, been yeah. a lot of very one-off bespoke stuff yeah. just for this car and it involves as you said a yeah. lot of people with those julian uh well we've had him up here this Simpson, morning so. pro, uh, yeah. up at um, high spec yeah. as well so Every, there's a lot of people involved yeah and everybody's really really busy we've had julian he's come up the i mean really difficult to get him to come up um because he's so busy but he's popped in this morning to have a look at james's on the side exit um and then he's checked out this because he's not seen it for a while since since he they obviously done all the fabrication on it and all that sort of stuff and the body kit so it was just a yeah just an update uh for uh, for him really on what's going on but yeah it's just the time you don't you run out of time to me do you it's just uh um that's that's the main problem that we have is there's not enough hours in the day as i've always said because i've got the business to run <laughs> can't play around with you know, this sort of stuff all day, every day. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be uh, I wouldn't earn any money, would I? 
No, um, it's, uh, well, it's, yeah, we're very, we're very busy, as guys. Much as, I'd like, we, as much we, as, we as I'd do like this. to. <laughs> as much yeah. as I'd like to, yeah. I mean, something like this is done around other projects, isn't it? So it's, well, uh, like I've always said, the bread and butter for me is the is the you know it's the Sutton Garage bit, which is you know tea testing and the you know I said you know like just your basic stuff. This is what I run alongside it, the MJ performance bit, and um, yeah, it has to be that way. So I'm just you just trying to balance it. That's all. To, um, but as much as I would love to be working on this stuff all day every day, that's just not in a real, not practical. It's not reality, is it? So um, yeah. So that's uh, so the next update will be just waiting for next. So what I'll, when I get these brackets, the final test fit bracket, um, and you know what, how involved that is. We've been up there a few times. Yeah. Had to take yeah. all the hubs up, take everything up to him just to be sure, just to be sure. Um, that it all fits because it's so one-off custom to these wheels. Yeah, we're trying to work things out over telephone yeah. and emails and uh, things. It, there's no substitute, even though it's a lot of, uh, mm. you know, travel involved things. Well, he needs to get his hands no on it. There's no substitute to actually no. having it there. So having his hands on it to do it. So the next bit for, like, we've got loads to do with the seats and all the inside and all that sort of stuff. We, You know, the meth line's been changed to the blue, nitrous blue lines and all that sort of stuff. Um, it's going to be running the same setup as yours, Timmy. Yeah. Uh, with regards to the full auxiliary meth. That's all been done. The ECU's all already been done for it. Um, so the next phase is, is when I get this test fit bracket front and rear, and the the, the EPB caliper housing, I can build up this side, and then we can let the car down. And then I'll have a one hundred percent. I'll know what the stance is, the the track, and everything. Like you know, and then we can then thumbs up to you know go ahead and finish the calipers in the correct. Um, Color, logo. So when you see the calipers, I won't give any much away. But when you, the calipers, exclusive to this car. So when you see the calipers, the, what what we've done there, and you know the time and the effort that they can high spec have gone into producing the the logos and the way they've done the calipers is just yeah, it's very very impressive to me, isn't it? It is, yeah. I mean, I've seen it. I've seen previews, guys, and I couldn't do it. I'd it's going to look amazing when I'll it's done. I wouldn't have the there. patience. I'd have to, you know, I wouldn't have the patience to do that. Must, he said it's hours and hours and hours. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, this car would have had hundreds of man hours spent on it. Hundreds. That's not just me. That's if you worked it all out, Julian, and you know all the people that's involved. Um, but the end result will be, you know, it'll be, um, you know, an achievement. Put it that way. And, and as viewers who know me, I always, you know, I'm not one for following what everybody else um, does. I, I want to do something different and do my own thing and create different things. And luckily, the people that work with me, like Julian, like High Spec, um, Tommy at Velocity, Bruce, they we're all the same. We all want to create different things, you know, think outside of the box. And you, if you don't, if you all think like that, it's great, you know. Um, yeah, I'm not into. Uh, Billy Basic. Really? Bolt on, <laughs> on basic. Sometimes you have, not I mean, some of it is, of course it is, you know, that's part of it, but you can also, there's nothing stopping you from, you know, just going in a slightly different direction to doing stuff, and that's what I'm all about. And I think that's why people, I'd like to think that's why people look me up and they want me to do stuff from, um, yeah, why not, innit? Go down in history as somebody who does something a bit different. Is that right to me? Yeah, definitely, guys. Is that right to me? Yeah. A little yep there, yeah. A little yep. Yeah. Hey. That's uh, that's just agreeing whatever the boss says. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> hey, he knows which side his bread's butter. He does. Really? He does. Yeah. That one there. Yeah. All right. But the, you're annoying the viewers now. Yeah. Sorry, sorry viewers. Sorry for that. Yeah, we must apologise. Um, but yeah, that's it. I think, isn't it, for the minute. Yeah, guys, as uh, Martin said, you know, there'll be more updates on this one, but um, yeah, loads of uh, work, as you can see, has been involved in this car and still more to come, but yeah. we'll be updating well, with you with videos and pictures and things. Yeah. Well, try, yeah, I mean, the, the plan is, look, we've, we've had huge delays because of COVID and it's, look, it's getting better, but the plan is that this car is done, you know, before the end of the year. It has to be well in my eyes it has to be um done this year so um we can get things moving then um there we are so loads like timmy says viewers loads to come 
He's copying me, by the way. What's going on with the? Uh, mm. With the? Oh, uh, let's, let's just uh, see. He's 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 winning the hair battle here. It's not me. I know that. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah, we well, dies instantly. Mine's naturally. Oh, uh, that's, yeah. Yeah. He's got the just men on there. Yeah. Yeah. You say so. Yeah. JFM, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think. Um. I think. Yeah. I think. I think Timmy should just let it grow and just see if it gets to the same length. Why don't you own your haircut anyway? I think you need it, mate. I'll just get the lawnmower on it. Yeah, you need to tie yourself up. <laughs> so you do. Unbelievable, guys. Hey. <laughs> there we go. I mean, like, like Martin said, that's the sort of banter we have here. Yeah. Um, Scarecrow crew, crew, yeah. The old Scarecrow crew. <laughs> and. Uh, Maybe well, we better say it before viewers do. Me, you know, me, words of gummage and all this sort of stuff. For the you, you know where words of gummage yeah. is. You know, Lord Farquaad. You know, from um, you know the old um, Shrek. Shrek, that's it. That's the one. Um, okay. Oh, we've heard it all. Yeah. You know, we, it's old news. You know. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, one of the. I don't know. Was at, least it I've had the at least I've had a shave. Hey. I've made an effort. Um, you cat, know, the, the cat licked his face. The so whiskers are gone, aren't they? That's what I'm saying. It's um, the old uh, kitty cat is um, wiped destroyed off. Yeah, you know <laughs> that little bit of fluff's gone. You know. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, no comment. Yeah, no comment. but yeah, let us know in the comments, guys, what you think. Should uh, should what, the banter of oh, the banter, and also should t should Timmy cut his hair or let it grow to the same length as Martin's? Let yeah. us know. Well, we can. Um, I don't know. I might go for the old ponytail in the next one. Yeah. I know Phil likes it. Phil's like you know, absolutely disgusted with uh, with my hair being so long. Um, but you know, it's just the way it is, isn't it? It's just the way it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, as as we've said, guys, the more people complain about it, the more Martin won't cut it. Yeah. So if you keep complaining, he just won't cut it. Yeah. So. That's the way it goes. But yeah, you might see him at a show and he'll have his hair in... Um, Depends on what I'm going to keep. In French plaits, maybe. Because yeah. mm. uh, Martin's so famous from YouTube now, people want to have autographs and pictures taken with him and mm. all that sort of stuff. And That's right, viewers. Make sure you've got your pen and pad ready. Um, and we'll be updating you on that. But yeah, if you want to make sure... No. We'll be updating you on that. But if you want... Oh, I can't. No, I'm just doing my outro and then I've got my, t my words tied. You've got your tuners watched, yeah? Yeah. We're, we're, no, don't go get. Hang on, and then you can say it. <laughs> try again, Timmy, with the outro. You seem to have got your tinger twist. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, but I'll try again, guys. Yeah. Try again. Go on. Yeah. So more to come on Monty's. We'll be updating you on our YouTube channel and Instagram, Facebook. But yeah, if you want to see more cars like this, more fast forwards, make sure you subscribe. Click the bell notification so you're notified when all new videos. Comment down below. Let us know what you think on this video. And yeah, if you like this, you want to see more, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. You got it.